What is up, guys? My name is Owen, and welcome back to the Ben Fender Podcast. And in this one, we are doing the 65th Daytona 500 review. We got a lot to get through, so let's get right into it. So this review is also doing the duels as well, which was on Thursday. So before the duels... Two drivers already made it in on time for the six drivers that didn't have a charter, which were Jimmy Johnson and Travis Pastrana, which I'm definitely happy Jimmy's back. I should definitely get some of, some of the 84 merch, <laughs> please. <laughs> so going into Duel 1, which was 60 laps, uh, William Byron and or Alex Bowman and William Byron were on the front row and uh Bowman gets pole position for um the main race which I think this is his sixth race six five hundred in a row where he's been on the front row which is insane like he is so consistent at at qualifying for the 500, but, well, we'll see in the actual race. So, uh, the two drivers that have to race their way in are Zane Smith and Chandler Smith. Uh, both of them are not related. Um, so, getting into the Duels, getting into the race. Uh, Byron took the lead off the start. Bowman immediately went to the backs because he did he did not want to wreck and ruin his car for the actual race, which I think that was a smart decision on his part. Um, then Zane Smith was in the last qualifying spot. Um, then Blaney took the lead. Then Chandler Smith was in the last qualifying spot. Um, Chastain took the lead. Then Blaney retook the lead. Then Zane Smith was in the took the last spot for qualifying. Um, then the uh, green flag pit stop started, uh, which uh, the Chevys pit first. Uh, then, uh, Chandler Smith and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. both got a speeding penalty. Um, then the Fords and Toyotas pit for their pit stop. Uh, Joey Logano took the lead. Uh, Ty Gibbs had a, got a too fast exiting penalty. Uh, Ty Dillon, uh, loses a tire on pit road. And Joey Logano wins Duel 1. He will be on the second row inside. And each of the duels was to see the, the running order for each line. So the first duel was the inside line, lane. Second duel was the outside lane. And whoever wins it would be in the second row. And then Zane Smith made it into the 500. He qualified for the 500. Um, then going into duel number two. Um, uh, Kyle Larson and Alex Almarola were on the front row. Um, then us. So the two drivers in this one who are racing in were. Austin Hill and Connor Daly. Um, so off off the start, Austin Hill was in the last qualifying spot. Then Almarola took the lead. Then Almarola and Larson traded the lead back and forth a couple times. 
then the first caution of the duels happened where Haley lost his side window, and that was a debris caution. So after that, Almirola won the race off pit road. Um, then Larson took the lead. Then Bush took the lead. Then Larson retook it. And then Bush retook the lead after that. And then the first actual crash of the weekend. Uh, Suarez bumped into Bush, who spun and collected Austin Hill, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Travis Pastrana, Riley Herbst. And all of them are out except for Ricky Stenhouse. He managed to continue with little damage. Uh, after that, Kyle Larson won the race off pit road. Uh, then Connor Daly was in the last qualifying spot. Then Almarola and Sindrick traded spots for a little bit. Uh, then Gilliland took the lead. Then Almarola retook the lead, and Almarola wins the second 500. And so the, the top five for this was Almarola, Sindrick, Elliot, Kozlowski, and Joy. The top, I didn't. I realized I just I didn't do the top five for the first duel. So the top five was Logano, Bell, Blaney, Busher, and McDowell. So, and uh, Connor Daly raced his way into the main event. So, uh, yesterday's race was two hundred laps. So the first stage was sixty five laps. Um. So Bowman and Larson are on the front row, like I already said. Uh, Bush had to go to the rear because he went in a backup car. Um, Kyle Larson took the lead. Then uh, Bowman took the lead. Then Larson and Bowman trade the lead for a little bit. Uh, then Christopher Bell takes the lead. Then Larson retakes it. Then Bellroy takes it after that. Uh, then Ty Dillon was uh, smoking on and slowed. He ends up making his way to the pit. And he ends up going off track. Eventually, he's just out of the race. After that, Almarola took the lead. Then Bowman took the lead. Then the green flag pit stop started, and um, the Fords were the first uh, manufacturer to pit. Uh, next lap, the Chevys came in. After that, um, Riley Herbst spun coming onto pit road. It ended up staying green. Then for a lap, Travis Pastrano was leading, which he must have felt happy leading a lap at the 500. <laughs> like, that's awesome. Um, after, after Pastrano pit, Hamlin took the lead. Herps got a pass-through penalty for a commitment line violation once after he spun. Then Pastrana got a driving through too many pit boxes penalty at as he left his pit box, so rookie mistake by him, unfortunately. Uh, Walt Bubba Wallace gets bumped into the wall. He manages to keep it going. Uh, Martin Truex Jr. takes the lead. And then Brad Kozlowski takes the lead. And Kozlowski wins the first stage. So, at the end of stage one, there was one car out and about eight cars a lap down. They didn't really show, like, the lap down cars, which... It makes sense, but hurts me a little bit. So, uh, stage two was also 65 laps. 
Uh, Ryan Priest won the race off pit road. Uh, then Kozlowski took the lead. Then Almirola took the lead. Then Kozlowski retakes took the lead. Um, then Green Flag pit stop start where the Chevys pit. Uh, Bush has a pass-through penalty for too fast entering. After that, the Fords came. Uh, Joey Logano took the lead. Then the Toyotas pit. And after that, Reddick takes the lead. Then Busher takes it. And then uh, Tyler Reddick gets bumped by Harvick and spins in front of the field, collecting Elliott. Uh, Chase Elliott, Daniel Suarez, Ryan Blaney, Eric Jones, and Kyle Larson, bringing out the first caution that wasn't the stage caution. Um, after this wreck, uh, Reddick, Elliott, and Jones are all out of the race. They could not continue. Um, after that, Austin Sindrick won the race off pit road. Uh... Joey Logano leads. Then Chastain takes the lead, and Chastain wins stage two. After that, there were four cars out, and I didn't really get how many were laps down, but it was probably around eight uh, again. And going into the third and final stage, which was 70 laps, uh, Eric Almirola won the race off pit road. And then a slew of penalties here, which was Chastain too fast entering, uh, Christopher Bell running over equipment, and Noah Gregson got an uncontrolled tire penalty. So after those, Bubba Wallace leads, then Almirola takes the lead, then there was a debris caution bringing out the second caution. After that, uh, Jimmy got a speeding penalty, which at this point, he before that, he was like in the top 10 mostly, and then I looked a while later and, and I was like, where did Jimmy fall to? Did he pit or something? And then like 20 laps later, the broadcast was like, Oh yeah, Jimmy had a speeding penalty. That's why he dropped back. It's like, couldn't you have told me that earlier? Like, with that being said, uh, after that, uh, Busher takes the lead. Then Almirola takes the lead. Then Busher retakes the lead. Then Green Flag pit stop start. Um, Daniel Suarez takes the lead. Uh, Ricky Senhouse has a too fast entering penalty. Then Harrison Burton takes the lead. Uh, then Ryan Priest spins and collects um, Truex, Gibbs, Harvick, Jimmy, McDowell, and Briscoe. And out of this wreck, Priest and Truex are the only drivers out. After that, Logano took the lead. Then AJ Allmendinger took the lead. Then Kozlowski took it. Then Bush took the lead. There was a lot of lead changes in this, so. Uh, after, after that, uh, Daniel Suarez spins, bringing up the fourth caution. After that, Logano took, takes the lead. And then, the big one. Austin Dillon spins and collects William Byron, Jimmy Johnson, Ross Chastain, Noah Gregson, Harrison Burton, uh, Austin Sindrick, Denny Hamlin, Todd Gilliland, Zane Smith, Brad Kozlowski, Riley Herbs, Justin Haley. Twelve people. So that, that was a 13-car wreck. Uh, so that bring, brings out the fifth caution, and 
Uh, Byron and Johnson are out. I don't... Those are the only two that I confirmed were out. I'm pretty sure a couple other w were out, but the broadcast didn't show it. Show it or tell me. So after that, Ricky Stenhouse takes the lead. Then uh, Joey Logano takes the lead. Then Almarola bumps Pastrada, who turns into Larson and collects Kozlowski, Blaney, and Bowman. Bring out the sixth and final caution. And... All right, so after the wreck, uh, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. ended up winning the race since he was, since this wreck happened on the last lap. Uh, Ricky was in the was in the lead at this point. So the top five were Rick, uh, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Joey Logano, Christopher Bell, Chris Buescher, and Alex Bowman. And. There were only 23 finishers in this race. Six of them were laps down. So there are only 17 finishers on the lead lap. Um, and my rating for this race was... Honestly, this race was pretty good. was pretty boring. In like the first stage, uh, like the first two stages, the last stage there was a lot of mayhem. So I'll give it an eight out of ten. I feel that's fair. Um, so <laughs> join me next week when when I review the Auto Club race. So, uh, please remember to like and subscribe, and uh, go check out my other two channels, one being my main channel of Fan Rantan, where I do uh, Lego builds and and uh, Pokemon openings, Pokemon pack openings, and then go check out my third channel, where me and my friends play Dungeons and Dragons. That is called Drunkards and Dumbasses, so please go check that out. And we will see you next week. Peace.